Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our study and stay cohort for graduation ceremony. We welcome the students, members, mentors, funders, and partners that are here with us today as we extend a virtual congratulations to the 2019-2020 Atlantic Canada Study and Stay Nova Scotia cohort. We are honored to recognize these incredible international graduates who are committed to living and working in Nova Scotia and to contributing to the workplaces and communities that they are and that they will be a part of. It's now my pleasure to pass it over to my colleague, Aris Hernandez. Thank you very much, Jennifer, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Before we begin this virtual ceremony, we want to share with you a couple of housekeeping notes. For today's event, we're using Zoom webinars, which is somewhat different than regular Zoom meetings. You will only be able to see the panelists for today's event and no one else. Zoom webinars have a, has a few features that you can use, such as chat, Q&A, and raise a hand. For today's events, we will not be using any of these features except for chat to send congratulatory messages to all graduates. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce our MC for today's event, Nicole Johnson Morrison, President and CEO of Edinova, who will be beginning with some re welcoming remarks. Thank you, Jennifer and Aris. That was great. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to the Nova Scotia Study and Stay graduation ceremony. I am Nicole Johnson Morrison, and I'm the President and CEO of Edinova Cooperative Limited. Renee Arsenault, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Economic Development and Official Languages, and Parliamentary Secretary to the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency. Andy Fillmore, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Canadian Heritage and Member of Parliament for Halifax. Honorable Labby Kasoulis, Minister, Labour and Advanced Education, Honorable Lena Diab, Minister of Immigration, and Minister of Acadian Affairs and Francophonie. Edunova's Board Chair, Dr. Peter Ricketts. Esteemed graduates, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the Nova Scotia Study and Stay Graduation Ceremony. As Nova Scotia Study and Stay graduates, you have all demonstrated that commitment and perseverance can reap rewards. Today, you graduate into the esteemed group that is the EduNova Study and Stay alumni. As you embark on your path towards lives and careers in Nova Scotia, we know that our province will be enriched by the diverse experiences that you bring to our shores. Through this diversity, we will become stronger and richer as a province and indeed as a country. Edunova is proud to have been able to support you on this journey, and we look forward with anticipation to the wonderful lives that you will all lead here in our province as you help to grow Nova Scotia and indeed Atlantic Canada. None of this would be possible without our funders, though. The Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency and the province of Nova Scotia through the Department of Labour and Advanced Education. Together, they make up part of a growing community of supports, including our members that help to support international students uh, to make their homes in Nova Scotia and indeed in Atlantic Canada. Congratulations to our graduates. We are proud of you all. Now join me in welcoming a message from the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Economic Development and Official Languages and also Parliamentary Secretary to Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency, René Arsida. Dear graduates, I'm René Arsenault, Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of Economic Development and Official Languages, Mélanie Jolie. I'm very proud to address our 2020 graduates of the Atlantic Study and Stay Program. Atlantic Canada needs skilled newcomers to help us grow our economy. We understand that it's not only about asking people to come to our region, but also about welcoming them and setting them up for success in their studies and their career. The Atlantic Study and Stay Program is an initiative that is helping our region grow. It's an example of collaboration between federal and provincial governments. Today, as you graduate from the program, you have proven that you are also among the best and the brightest, newest members of the job market. Congratulations on your graduation. I know that your friends, families, and mentors are very proud of you today. I want to wish you the very best as you embark 
on your next journey. I hope that you will keep living in Atlantic Canada, and I look forward to seeing you thrive in our region. We have a rich history that has shaped its people. We are innovative, resilient, and friendly. Everyone knows this year's graduation is different because of COVID-19, but with bold ideals, courage, and by working all together, we can get through it together. I want to thank you for choosing Atlantic Canada. You are also part of our history and your ideas will help shape the future. The strongest economies are diverse and inclusive economies. Together, always, we are stronger. Again, congratulations and thank you. Uh, thank you, Rene Arsenault. Uh, an excellent message. Uh, we are certainly very proud of our graduates, and we know that um, uh, this could not be possible uh, for them to succeed without the supports that are being provided by Edunova and uh, by our federal and provincial colleagues. So uh, thank you. Now, uh, join me in welcoming uh, Andy Fillmore, Parliamentary Secretary of the Minister of Canadian Heritage and Member of Parliament for Halifax to give his congratulatory message. Hello everyone, my name is Andy Fillmore and I'm the Member of Parliament here in Halifax. Congratulations! And even though today's graduation ceremony might not be exactly as you pictured it, I hope the feeling of accomplishment is the same. You're among a group of students from countries around the world who chose to study here at our outstanding Nova Scotia universities and community colleges in fields like healthcare, engineering, business, finance, technology, ocean sciences, tourism, hospitality, and so much more. So thank you. And let me be straight with you. We, all of us, want you to stay. And we're committed to helping you discover a bright future here in Nova Scotia. A few years ago now, the federal government announced a nearly $300,000 contribution to Edgenova for the Stay in Nova Scotia Student Retention to Residency Program and since then, it has taken off. I'm so excited to see the program's success, and by extension, your success, which will ultimately be our province's success. The Stay in Nova Scotia program is built around providing cultural, language, career, and networking supports to international students both before and after graduation to encourage them to make Nova Scotia their permanent home. Participants were supported in their transition from student to professional with a year-long program of activities, tasks, and workshops. And although that sounds like a lot of work, I bet you all had a great time too. Aside from building great friendships, you've benefited from one-on-one -on -one employment support, including resume building, personal branding, and interview skills. Networking events helped you grow skills and confidence, and your dedicated mentors have given you insight and opportunities for experiential learning. International students like you bring cutting edge skills that help Nova Scotia develop a skilled workforce and inject a new vibrancy into the region's economy. Immigration is key to building a strong Atlantic community and improving the region's ability to compete in a global market. So the government of Canada is grateful that you were part of Edunova's Stay in Nova Scotia program and that so many of you plan to make this province your home as you embark on your careers. And as you do so, I look forward to working with you to build a better future for Nova Scotia. And congratulations once again, you did it. Thank you very much, Andy, for that uh, very inspiring message. Um, now, please join me in welcoming the Honorable Labi Kasoulis, Minister of Labor and Advanced Education, to give his congratulatory messages to our graduates. Congratulations to this year's graduates of the Nova Scotia Study and Stay program. Several years ago, you made a bold decision to leave everything you knew, your home, your family, your friends. You chose Nova Scotia, a small province on the east coast of Canada for your post-secondary education. I'm sure that you had heard of Canada, but I'm not sure that you were familiar with wonderful Nova Scotia. Our government has made increasing Nova Scotia's population through immigration a priority. Through funding the study and stay, we hope that the support you received will help you to prosper here in our province. We are excited to share our culture with you and have you share your culture with us. Nova Scotia's award-winning study and stay program is unique and offers a rich experience. We see the importance of assisting international students like you. The networks you have established with your mentors and the skills you have developed will support you well in your future endeavors. 
The resilience you have demonstrated during current pandemic leaves me with no doubt that you are ready to face any challenge. Best of luck as you embark on this next chapter in your life. And thank you for choosing Nova Scotia. Thank you very much, uh, Minister Kosoulis, uh, for that um, uh, excellent message. Uh, I'm, I'm reminded uh, by your words, uh, referencing that the Study and Stay program is indeed an award-winning program, and we are um, quite pleased that so many of our uh, graduates um, uh, made the journey to, to to partake in our program and to uh, ensure that they are able to be part of, um, of Nova Scotia and to help to grow our province. Uh, now, kindly join me in welcoming remarks from the Honorable Lena Diab, Minister of Immigration and Acadian Affairs and Francophonie. Minister Diab. Congratulations, graduates. I'm very happy to participate in today's virtual ceremony to celebrate you and your successful completion of the Study and Stay program. On behalf of the Government of Nova Scotia, I want to recognize all of you on this wonderful accomplishment. Your success in the Study and Stay program is a success for Nova Scotia and Atlantic Canada. We know you have learned many invaluable lessons that will help prepare you to transition into the workforce. My hope is that these lessons and connections help make the transition from student to professional easier and that you are feeling ready and excited to stay, live and work in Nova Scotia. One of the most important things leading to your success are the connections you've made with others through workshops, networking, mentorship, and events. I hope you will continue to make those connections and be engaged wherever you choose to live and work. The Government of Nova Scotia, as a partner in the Study and Stay program, is so pleased that 62 graduates are eager to build their careers and live in Nova Scotia. Of course, graduation celebrations are very different this year due to the pandemic and need for physical distancing. However, it's important that we gather virtually today to recognize your efforts and wish all of you the very best in the future. As Minister of Immigration, I am thrilled that you have chosen Nova Scotia as your home and that you have the study and stay program as a foundation to help you make this transition. Felicitations et bon été. Congratulations and happy summer. Thank you, um, Minister uh, Diab, uh, for those very stirring words. Uh, indeed, uh, Nova Scotia is very um, uh, pleased to benefit from uh, the uh, immense talent uh, that the Study and Stay graduates will be bringing to, uh, to our province and uh, certainly from their diverse experiences. So thank you for that message. Now, please join me in welcoming uh, remarks from uh, EduNova's uh, board chair, uh, Dr. Peter Ricketts. Uh, Peter, the floor is yours. Hello. My name is Peter Ricketts and I am Chair of the Board of Directors of EduNova and President and Vice-Chancellor of Acadia University. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person, but I want to take this virtual opportunity to congratulate each and every one of you on your graduation from the Study and Stay program. With 62 graduates from nine institutions across Atlantic Canada, you are a living testament to the success of this unique program. I want to thank you for choosing Atlantic Canada for your post-secondary education and also for being part of Study and Stay. And thanks also to your parents, your families and loved ones for their support in getting you to this important point in your lives. I'm delighted that you have chosen Atlantic Canada as your home. Whether you are going to live in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, or Newfoundland and Labrador, you have made a great choice. We are building a multicultural society here, and you are going to be an important part of that very exciting future. You will not regret your decision. And so, on behalf of the Board of Directors of EduNova, I want to give you my strongest congratulations 
my best wishes, and I wish you all the best as you go forward from this point and as you build your lives and your careers here in Atlantic Canada. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck to you all. Thank you very much, um, uh, Dr. Ricketts, for those uh, words. Um, uh, you are spot on in congratulating our graduates on the hard work they've put into uh, to the Study and Stay program. Uh, it is an intense program, and uh, we know that our graduates are resilient and strong and, and are obviously bringing the best um, uh, skill sets that are needed to grow our province. So thank you for that message. Uh, now join me in uh, looking at uh, our institutional videos uh, that has been um, put together uh, showcasing the entire study and stay program. Dear Atlantic Canada Study and Stay, Nova Scotia program graduates, the time has come to celebrate you for the accomplishments you've achieved through the program, the connections you've made, the opportunities you've embraced, and the people you've inspired. We believe that our province and our communities are made stronger by each of you. The diversity of thought, the experiences you bring, and the many cultures that enrich Nova Scotia make this province an even better place to live. Vous êtes le changement. Vous êtes le futur. You are one of the next province, diverse and strong. And we hope that you too understand your value. Congratulations, Atlantic Canada Study and Stay program graduates. As we look back upon this program year, there is so much to be proud of. The steps you have all taken as part of your journey have made you stronger, more resilient, and have strengthened the community that we are part of. The 62 graduates from this year's Atlantic Canada Study and Stay Nova Scotia program were chosen from across 10 institutions and represent over 25 nationalities. These graduates are now part of a growing alumni of incredibly talented and diverse individuals who are committed to building and enriching our province. We look forward to watching your continued growth in Nova Scotia as your journey has just begun. Thank you to all our amazing institutions for that fantastic video and thank you for your ongoing support. Now, please join me in welcoming back uh, Aris Hernandez and Jennifer Westman uh, to take over this part of the program. Thanks, Nicole. Once again, we are proud to say congratulations to our 62 graduates here today. This program was developed to support a select group of international students each year in their final year of study to live and work in Atlantic Canada. It provides essential connections, resources, and mentorship to support students' transition from student to professional. With programs expanded to Newfoundland and Labrador, PEI, and New Brunswick, we also have over 200 students across Atlantic Canada graduating this June and July. On behalf of Edgenova, I wish to extend a message of congratulations to these international graduates as well. Since its inception, the Studying State program has met and exceeded its tar targets across the region, with an average of over 90% of graduates living and working in the region post-graduation. I'd also like to recognize my colleague, Aris Hernandez, who was a former international student himself and is a graduate of the very first cohort of our Study and State program. As the retention coordinator for the Nova Scotia program today, Aris exemplifies the strengths the skills, diversity, and leadership that international graduates bring to our province. Aris has been working very closely with this year's students and mentors, and he is an integral part of the program's success. It's an honor and a pleasure now to introduce you back to Aris. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for those kind words. I truly appreciate it, and it is a pleasure for me to be working with you. Um, th this program has definitely changed my life, and I'm sure that it's changing uh, our students' lives as well. So thank you once again. Um, I cannot say thank you enough to all of our mentors in this year's program. Uh, mentors are a key component to our program. They support our students by providing them with connections, industry insights, and resources, and someone to support their professional goals and career development as well. Each year we have over 80 mentors apply for the program, and we do our best to match them with a mentor um, that, you know, uh, match with the student as well. Mentors bring a wealth of skills, knowledge, and a commitment to supporting international students and seeing them succeed in their workplace across Nova Scotia. 
On behalf of Edenova, we extend a sincere thank you to all of our mentors and the hours they have contributed to supporting their students, especially during their uncertain times we are facing as well. Your dedication to our program and our international students is appreciated. Now it is our pleasure to introduce you to someone who has been working with us as a private sector partner since the beginning of this project, which started in 2016. Chantal Brine is the CEO of OnPoint, where she works with her team of career strategists to support the career development of our study and stay students across the region. The OnPoint team are passionate about enabling youth to transform their own passions into careers and to explore meaningful work options and networks. Please join us in welcoming OnPoint's CEO, Chantal Brine, and the Nova Scotia career strategist, Alison Murray. Thanks, Jen. My gracious. I know this is a different graduation than what any of us could have anticipated at the beginning of this program back in October 2019, but it is a graduation. It is a celebration for all of the hours that you have put into building your lives and your careers here in this province, for all of the time that you've been developing new skills, all the time and the hours and the effort and the conversation spent learning how to build new relationships that are gonna support you now and for years to come. I hope that you feel proud of what you've accomplished despite a pandemic, and actually quite frankly in the face of it, that proves that you are committed to this province and you are the kind of individuals that we want to support no matter what, because we believe your commitment, we believe your passion, we believe your desire to start and build careers here and businesses where you get to bring all of who you are and all of your skills to the table. Thank you so much for allowing us at On Point to be a tiny little small part of that. I look forward to continuing to stay in touch with you for the weeks and months to come. Please, 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 please remember our message to you that once you are in the network and once we have a relationship, those things never die. They never end. We are here for you always in your corner as you look to build your career in our province and our region for years to come. Congratulations to each and every single one of you. I'm lifting a uh, metaphorical glass to you and cheersing and here with you each and every single step of the way as you hopefully celebrate this amazing accomplishment. Congratulations, everyone. I can't believe how quickly this last year has gone and that we're here looking at your graduation, another major milestone in very successful uh, careers and lives to date. What an exciting time, but I also know that it can be a time of uncertainty and maybe even nerves for some of you. As Chantel said, we are here to support you. I am happy to connect with you and meet with you over the summer as you navigate those next steps and as you think about what that next chapter is going to bring. Regardless of where you're at today in your career journey, you have so much to be proud of. I know firsthand how much work each of you have put into this program, into your academic studies, and into the many other hats and commitments that you juggle as an international student here in Nova Scotia. And as you look forward to that path, which may seem a little uncertain at this moment in time, remember, you've already proven that you can do this. You chose to come to Nova Scotia and to Canada as an international student. That takes incredible resilience and grit and creativity. You've done it before, you can do it again. We're here to support you. And I so look forward to counting you among colleagues and peers in my professional network in the weeks and months to come. Best wishes. Thank you very much, Chantel and Allison, for sharing your kind words. We're lucky to have you as our partner in our program, and I know our students appreciate all the work you do with them. From the way workshops you have delivered to the one-on-one -on -one meeting scheduled with the students, you have been an essential part of this program. Thank you once again. And now it is my pleasure to introduce you to Ashley Pinson Tobin and Arti Arumgumam, who will be sharing their mentorship stories. Ashley has been a mentor for the program over the past three years, and Arti is part of our 2019-2020 cohort. Hi, Iris, and hi, everyone. Thank you for having me to share my um, testimony tonight. Um, Ashley has been my um, mentor for the past year, and she has been wonderful with three guts to like meeting every uh, month and has been very supportive. But it became even more apparent um, in the ways that they supported me. she supported me during the crisis, a COVID-19 crisis, because um, I've had to move several times and while at the same time trying to uh, 
maintain my focus on writing my thesis. So it has been a very challenging time, but she has been instrumental in helping me to remain focused on finding uh, information, but remaining connected uh, to be involved in the workforce upon graduation. She suggested webinars for me to attend, and she also supported me to make sure that I stay in touch with Edinoa staff and also Edinoa's uh, programs during the COVID-19 in order to make sure that I felt supported and not isolated. So that was a very um, um, instrumental uh, support that I received during this particular time because it was not anything that we all anticipated, but I was still able to um, uh, participate in a very creative mentorship. Thank you, Artie, and thanks for having me here tonight, everybody. Um, I, I love the Study and Stay program, and I, I think it's such a great opportunity to connect students with mentors, and it's been my pleasure and honor to be a mentor for the past few years. This year will definitely be memorable because of COVID, um, but also because we've had a great partnership. We've had a great collaboration this past year. And, um, you know, sometimes I think mentorship goes really well when you see in, in the beginning that you've got things that you can teach and learn from each other. And I think that that is something that we have definitely done well together. Um, I've learned a lot from RT about her past work experience, the things that she does now, her amount of involvement in um, what's happening here in Nova Scotia, um, her, her passion for being involved with different organizations. Um, it's really inspiring and it's a great opportunity for me to see, you know, what are students doing, you know, what's happening um, with students at different institutions. Um, COVID-19 added a certain uh, unexpected element, but I think we handled it well. We, we had met in person a few times and so moving online seemed pretty natural for both of us. Um, and we talked about, you know, the challenges of COVID, you know, what is it like being isolated from people and not talking to other people um, on a regular basis and are other people feeling the same way as me and, you know, we talked about the personal and professional because I really believe that the two things go together quite strongly and, you know, how does that work out for us um, in our careers because of course whatever's happening in our personal life is also happening in our professional life. So I was really pleased that we could stay connected and our meetings always, um, you know, lifted me up and I, I think we've both really enjoyed them. And um, I really think that if anybody is thinking about mentoring, um, there's always something that you can contribute, your expertise, your experiences, what worked well for you, what didn't. Um, so if anybody is considering being a mentor, uh, please do it. And especially with this program, because it's amazing. Thank you, Ashley and Artie, for sharing your words and experiences with us today. Mentorship really is a key component of this program, and it demonstrates the value and importance of relationships. And now, my pleasure to pass it back over to Nicole. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for that important message on mentorship and the value that it creates, not just for the mentees, but also for the mentors. Uh, before Jennifer and Aris award the students with their certificates, we have a special bursary award to be presented by Ifiani Imeshi, who is the founder and publisher of My Halifax Experience Media and Publishing, a company that's aimed at telling the stories and sharing the dreams of immigrants who have found success in Halifax while encouraging others to stay in the province and it, indeed in Atlantic Canada. An entrepreneur himself, Ifiani is passionate and committed to advocating for new Canadians and is committed to supporting international students. Here to say, today to say a few words and to present a bursary to one of our students on behalf of my Halifax experience is Ifiani Imeshi. Ifiani, the floor is yours. Hello and good evening. Every year I look forward to addressing the Edwin Nova study and stay graduates and being able to get to know you all. While we cannot be together in person this evening, I am thrilled to be here virtually. 2020 has been an unprecedented year, but has reminded us that change is the only thing 
that is constant and we should be ready to adapt to new ways of doing things in real time. Also, stand up and fight for what you believe in. Our lives are given to us for a bigger purpose and we have to use our voices if we want to see positive change in the world. With everything going on in the world today, not only do your achievements give us a much needed reason to celebrate, but they also give us hope. Despite the injustice and turmoil on a global scale, you have persevered. As I know personally, graduation is not an easy feat in the best of times. It takes even more strength and determination to succeed. Your hard work makes me even more excited to see where you will go in the future. You should be very proud of yourselves. Congratulations to you all and thank you for your hard work and dedication. I hope to see you all set down roots in Atlantic Canada and flourish to your endless potential. Before I go, I would like to announce our 2020 International Student Bursary winner. His name is Bernard Besson. Bernard is a Cameroonian national currently enrolled in a BA program at Mount St. Vincent University here in Halifax. He will be entering his final year this fall. Congratulations, Bernard, and from all of us at My East Coast Experience, we wish you all the best in your studies. Congratulations once again to the graduates. Don't forget to lead with kindness in your heart in everything you do. God bless. Thank you very much, uh, Ifiani, for that message and also for the, uh, announcing the bursary winner uh, for this year. Uh, congratulations uh, uh, to our, our winner and uh, we are uh, pleased to continue to be uh, connected with my Halifax experience, uh, so thank you for the support. Uh, I would now like to pass it back to uh, my colleagues uh, Jennifer Westman and uh, Aris Hernandez, who will start the uh, graduation portion of um, uh, today's ceremony. Jennifer and Aris. And now is that time in our program where we award our graduates with their certificates. Each graduate will have received in the mail a package that includes a certificate, a letter, and some other special goodies. Graduates, if you can please hold off until the end of the ceremony to open your packages, and to kick us off, Aris will begin. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Our first graduate, Abdul Jamid Cardinani, Dalhousie University, Bachelor of Engineering. Aditya Vashnavi Vemareddy, Dalhousie University, Master's Corporate Residency, Master's in Business Administration. Arthi Arumugam, St. Mary's University, Master's in Women and Gender Studies. Alan Merwin Raju, Cape Breton University, Bachelor of Health Sciences, Public Health. Aline Teixeira, Dalhousie University, PhD in Biomedical Engineering. Amal Raj, Cape Breton University, Bachelor of Health Sciences, Public Health. Sheen Amy Lee, St. Mary's University, Master of Technology, Entrepreneurship and Innovation. Anuj Rana, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma, Energy Sustainability, Engineering Technology Program. Arnaud Binja, Université de saint Anne, Diploma in Business Administration. Ayukno Tamadang, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma Social Services. Babatunde Malik Yama, Mount St. Vincent University, Masters in Family Studies and Gerontology. Ben Huang, Acadia University, Bachelor Double Major, Sociology and Economics. Camomil Mariano, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma in Business Administration Program. Celia Deer, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma Business and Tourism. Christian Kiriban, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma in Business Administration. Christina Pune, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma IT Data Analytics. Deborah Sani, Dalhousie University, Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. Dov Kabongo, University of St. Anne, Diploma Business Administration. Isama de Oliveira Meneses, Dalhousie University, Masters in Marine Management Program. Imon Majumder, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma IT Programming. Enilda Perez, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma in Graphic and Print Production. Gil Perini, St. FX, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Studies. Haoming Jingnao, Nascot University, Bachelor of Fine Art. 
Haruka Aoyama, Dalhousie University, Bachelor of Combined Honors, Sustainability and Society and Political Science. Haidar Tang Dursun, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma in Carpentry. Ivana Bashkir, Dalhousie University, Master of Science, Electric Thermal Power Engineering. John Elise Ngandu, Université de Sanin, Bachelor of Business Administration. Karen Tatiana Valero Sanchez, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma Occupational Health and Safety. Koa Ha, Cape Breton University, Master of Business Administration in Community Economic Development. Latonya Ferguson, Acadia University, Bachelor of Computer Science. Lily Notash, Acadia University, Bachelor of Business Administration. Madoka Imamura, St. Mary's University, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Mark Andrew Mortel, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma in Occupational Health and Safety. Mohammed Asaruddin Rahman, St. Mary's University, Bachelor of Commerce. Myungjin Kwong, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma in IT and Data Analytics. Nandelma Kofwan, Acadia University, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Nikita Kundra, St. Mary's University, Bachelor of Arts and Psychology. Nishchita Hamish Natash, Dalhousie University, Masters of Science. Omolara Ogumbusi, Mountain Beach University, Master in Education in Lifelong Learning. Orlin Robinson, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma IT Data Analytics. Hossein Sharma, Cape Breton University, Post Baccalaureate of Engineering Technology. Pamela Effa, St. Mary's University, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Parampreet Kaur, Cape Breton University, Post Baccalaureate of Engineering Technology. Cloinapas Girarungroj, Mount St. Vincent University, Bachelor of Business Administration. Rashni Chandrasekhar, Mount St. Vincent University, Bachelor of Applied Human Nutrition and Minor in Psychology. Roibing Mo, Acadia University, Bachelor of Science, Kinesiology. Rubin Bochipati, Acadia University, Bachelor of Science. Samuel Akano, Dalhousie University, Bachelor's in Chemical and Process Engineering. Sandeep Singh, Kibberdine University, Post Baccalaureate of Engineering Technology. Stefania Thompson, Cape Breton University, Post Bachelorette, Diploma in Business Management. Stephanie Okorahor, Dalhousie University, Bachelor of Science. Stephen A. Long, St. FX University, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Yed Sainul Abidin, Marriage University, Bachelor of Commerce. Tanaka Shumba, Dalhousie University, Bachelor of Science. Tolovalupe Odoneye, Dalhousie University, Master in Chemical Engineering. Melissa Goncalves, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma Business Administration. Veronica Romero Galaviz, Nova Scotia Community College, Diploma in Culinary Management. Y. Lolita Lam, Cape Breton University, MBA in Community Economic Development. Janja Rangulam, an effects university, Bachelor of Science, Human Kinetics. Yu Judy Zhang, NASCAD University, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Abello, Acadia University, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Zhenju Zhu, Mount St. Vincent University, Bachelor of Business Administration. Congratulations, all graduates. Now, we ask you to please open your packages. Your packages will contain your certificate of the program, a letter of recognition of the program graduates as well, a letter from On Point, the Canadian Charter of Rights, a pin from the program as well, and a card that has a picture of our retreat 2019. Once again, congratulations to all graduates. We are so happy for you to be part of our program, and we hope that your journey in Nova Scotia just keep growing and growing. Thank you, Jennifer and Arise. And once again, thank you to our 2019-2020 graduating class. 
to our mentors, to our institutions, to our program partners, and to our government funders whose support make this program possible. Recognized by both national and international awards, the Study and Stay programs are unique in Canada, if not in the world. They demonstrate Nova Scotia's commitment to attracting and retaining international students and to building a province where newcomers are welcomed, celebrated, and supported. Much of our support comes from our partners, from the federal government through the Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency, from the province of Nova Scotia through labor and advanced education, and of course, from our institutional members across the province. We thank you for all of the support in making today's graduation possible. And I would like to say a final word of congratulations to all our graduates who are graduating our Study and Stay program. We are pleased to have supported you on your journey. And we look forward to seeing what amazing things you're going to do uh, in your lives, but also in our province. Congratulations. Today, we celebrate you and we look forward to all your amazing accomplishments. Congratulations again.